Hey guys, Virtus Education here with episode 6 of the HTML web programming tutorial series. And in this episode, we're going to be showing you how to create images inside of your website, similar to the one that I've put into our little test page, which we've been making so far. So when it comes to images, there's going to be a whole bunch of different settings we're going to be playing around with. Firstly, we're going to be showing you the image tag. Then we're going to be showing you how to define the source of the image. Then we're going to be showing you how to set the width and height. And these will be values which are either absolute or relative, which I'll be uh, talking about at a later date. So you can see here, I've got my lovely little image in the website and it works really well. It's centered and so on and so forth. So in that video, we're going to be showing you how to create something pretty much just like that. So let's just go ahead and delete this and uh, we'll go over creating an image. So I want it to be at the very top of my page. So I'm going to put it at the very top of my body once again. So from here, I'm going to have to use the image tag. So all I got to do is just, uh, you know, open bracket image and then just close that up. Now inside of that, we need to type in the source and any other properties that we may want to play around with. Now, when it comes to image tags, you do not need a closing image tag. So don't, so do not bother with that. So once you've done that, let's just go ahead and define the source. The source was essentially just tells the browser where to get the image from. So to do that, let's go ahead and type in SRC equals and then uh, two little quotation marks. Now inside of here, uh, this is where you want to put in, uh, you know, the source, the directory of it. Now, whenever there is these little two quotation marks inside of code, you're pretty much always going to be asked to put in some kind of information, uh, whether it's a directory, a piece of text, or something along those lines. So, the directory of an image is usually going to be a file location, whether stored locally or on a server. Just to make things really easily uh, easy, we're going to be using a uh, image stored on a server. So, for example, if I go ahead and right click this uh, image of mine and press copy image URL, I can just pretty much go ahead and put it straight into there. Now, if you want to host some kind of image, uh, image, you are probably going to have to buy some kind of hosting for yourself, or you can use some kind of free alternative such as TinyPick. So I'm just going to quickly uh, save here and then just refresh so you can see the difference between uh, before and after. So in the little quotation marks, I'm going to go ahead and put in my URL. Play around with pretty much any image that you so want. If you want to get a quick image, just go to Google Images and then just type something in, say, uh, hello world. Let's see what we get over here. So I go ahead and right click this copy image URL. I can just pretty much go ahead and uh, copy and paste it into here. So let's just go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and save and then refresh and you're going to see it in our website. However, there may be a few uh, problems with that. For example, the resolution on this image is way too high and it just does not fit our page anymore. So having said that, we're going to need to play around with the width and height of our uh, image. So let's just go ahead and do that. So once again, we're going to be defining the properties of our image inside of these the little image tag. So to do that, to set either the width or height, uh, just go ahead and type in width equals and then use the two little quotation marks once again. Now inside of this, we can just go ahead and type in a value. Now when it comes to values for uh, something being displayed on the screen, uh, you know, percentages or even to set pixels, it's either absolute or relative. Now, if it's absolute, it means it's fixed and it will not change. Whereas relative means it's going to change uh, relative to something else. So, for example, if we was to use a percentage, which is relative, uh, it would change based on the size of the page or whatever it's contained within. Whereas if we was to use an absolute, uh, an absolute setting, it would be a set number of pixels. So if I go ahead and uh, set the width to say uh, 100, press save, and then just go ahead and refresh, it's going to be 100 pixels and that's going to be fixed. It won't change based on however much I change uh, the browser or wherever it's contained within. However, if I was to go ahead and change this width to say 100%, it's going to be 100% of the browser and you can see that as I drag it, it gets bigger and that's pretty much how relative values work. So pretty much set that to whatever you want. In my case, I'm going to want this to be something around 60 
uh, percent. So let's just go ahead and try that. If I can somehow press the the right button, so 60%. Let's try that, and it came out uh, relatively all right. So let's just go ahead and increase this. Now, for the most part, you will probably have to go around and play around with uh, the values for width and height of images to get them to the right size. Now, don't forget, you can also do the same for height. So, if, uh, so if you just set the width, it's going to change the scale of the image proportionately. However, if you was to use um, width and height together then it would be unproportionate uh, so for example if I was to go ahead and set the height to say I'd say 10% uh, this should be unproportionate I hope and you can see that it stretches the image so I do advise that you try and keep the image uh, as proportionate as possible just so you don't have any of this distortion so I'm just gonna go ahead and delete the uh, height setting press save and uh, we're gonna go to go ahead and take a look at this. Now it's also a little something that I did earlier, which is uh, just center it. So to center it, once again, just use the center tags. All you gotta do is just open bracket center, and then just close it off and make sure that you encapsulate whatever you want centered inside of those pairs of tags. Now there was one last thing that I wanted to uh, show you which is alternative text. So alternative text is essentially the text which we displayed if for example for some reason the browser cannot load the image that you want to be shown. So let's just go ahead and give you an example of this. So I'm just going to quickly type in some kind of random URL uh, such as google.com slash logo.png. Let's just hope something doesn't come up. And when it does not load, we don't get any text, we just get this little box. So if you wanted to show some kind of warning or whatever, you can use alternative text. So to do that, just go ahead and type in alt in here equals and then little two quotation marks once again and then inside of that you can type whatever text inside of inside of these quotation marks. So for example, whoops, uh, let's type in whoops there is an error. And then just save that, refresh, and it should be shown up at the top here. It's pretty much how alternative text works. However, this will not be shown if your image URL works perfectly fine and it can uh, load it. So it's not too much of a concern for you. But just in case uh, you do ever have any problems, it's, it's a good thing to know. So let's just go ahead and save and take a look at what we've done in this tutorial. So in this tutorial we've shown you images, some of the different settings and properties we can play around with. So it's pretty much everything. Thanks for watching, comment, like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.